New York's Catholic community mourns the sudden death of Edward Cardinal Egan. He died this afternoon after going into cardiac arrest. CBS 2's Dick Brennan reports. On the altar of St. Patrick's, a portrait of Edward Cardinal Egan, who died suddenly. He had a lunch with his uh, loyal secretary, Father Doug Crawford, and at the end of the lunch, he simply let out a little groan, and he, and he slumped over and died. The body of Christ. He had a baritone voice and a formal manner, but Cardinal Egan connected with the faithful. He was a wonderful man and very much loved by everyone. Edward Egan was born in suburban Chicago. He was Archbishop of New York from 2000 to 2009 and was the church's most visible leader after the September 11th attacks. Fear is not part of our experience today. When Cardinal Dolan succeeded him in 2009, Egan looked to his retirement. If the Archbishop thinks I know how to say mass and have funerals and do confirmations and so forth. I hope he'll be kind enough to let me do it. You're hired. Aww. Cardinal Egan will be buried in this crypt below St. Patrick's and had insisted on showing it to Cardinal Dolan. We went down and I teased him forever. He said, you see that spot? That's mine. And he said, you see those two spots? Those are yours. <laughs> <laughs> Cardinal Egan was 82 years old. Right now, no word yet on funeral services. Dick Brennan, CBS2 News.